They do kind of like purple pears. It's kind of cool. But how does it taste? Man, this plant is good. Oh, yeah. I can't do jingles. Sorry. Hey, I want to know about this plant. Fine, I'll teach you. Selena Melangina, or more commonly referred to as the eggplant, grows all around the world. Except places like the moon, but that's not in the world, so that's okay. The earliest known location of the eggplant growing naturally can be traced back to India, or to this day still grows naturally in the wild. So this means people in India were like, cool, we have these free-range purple lumpy things. Actually, change of plans. Some of them are white, which is probably why they were called eggplants. That's pretty cool. Oh, would you look at that? It's random segment time. <laughs> Oh, they were also cultivated here and here. But the only reason why we care is because the first documented case of these large purple pears was in some silly document, which basically was a glorified cooking book. It was also considered sexy and beautiful to let an eggplant stain a woman's teeth black. Boom! What was that? Wow. Now it's the early Middle Ages and people are ready to do the act of trade. It's near one of the dank river valleys. The Arabs want to do some trading with Europeans near the Mediterranean. Because that's where people did trade. Body water. People need water. Limited supply water. A lot of people go there. Pretty basic stuff. Hey, would you like some eggplant? I... I... Sure, why not? Also, the Persians transported some of the eggplant to Africa as well. In the 18th century, the Spaniards also brought them to the New World. From here on out, basically everyone knows what an eggplant is. Except polar bears. Sorry, guys. Bye. Bye.